Hi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. Let's play The Legend of Zelda, rather. The final part, which I have to do again, because I forgot to save the sound file. Alright, let's just get this over with, shall we? I am a little frustrated, but it only took about 20 minutes the first time, and since I have thus had a bit of practice in that particular case. It shouldn't take too much longer to, um, it probably shouldn't take, take nearly that much time to, uh, finish it again. So let's head on to the final dungeon of finality, I guess you could say. Which is this way up those stairs, and to the left some more. Alright, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to be basically rushing through the final dungeon, but that's not going to impede me from getting all the rest of the, uh, the items I want to get, you know, like the... I'm still going to get the map and the compass because they're right there. And, um... Yeah, but I'm, um, they're, they're fairly easy to get to, but I'm not going to be wasting my time exploring the entire dungeon, because there's no point. Also, um, oh, um, yeah, the, 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 actually going through the dungeon is the main trouble spot. Uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't say, I don't really want to say trouble spot. It really isn't that... In hindsight, it really isn't that hard. It's just the one section is fairly devious. Because we'll be facing off against several whiz robes that share rooms with bubbles, and that is never fun. Once we actually get to Ganon, though, the, 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 uh, our experience will be a lot easier. Ganon is a pushover. I'm sorry. Okay, so basically we just went through that little entry area. And now we want to go through that locked door. And again, we have the magic key, so we don't have to pick up any keys at all if we don't want to. And I don't. <laughs> I just want to get this over with. Because I already had to go through this once, and I don't want to do it again. Now, if this was something like, uh, one of the other Zelda games, you know, the ones I, one of the ones I actually really, really like, I wouldn't mind so much, but, oh well. Alright, this is the way to the compass. We have to kill some Wizrobes to get at it. These Wizrobes aren't that big of a deal, though, because, uh, we're not simultaneously dealing with bubbles. Which are the real reason I found that... I mean, the whiz robes will still take quite a bit of health out of you if you're not careful. Like, I mean, look what they did to, uh, look what they, they did to us, but... Uh, quite frankly, they're a lot more manageable without bubbles to deal with. And I can, I can live with that. I can't live with this. Especially with them doing that crap. Why couldn't I go up then? Come on, game. Alright, now we're going to see a brand new enemy in here. This is a Petra. Despite how they have menacing growls, they really aren't that hard. Although I pretty much... I, I, I'll actually, you know, put off fighting that one for now. Um... They're a lot easier once we get a, a pretty awesome piece of equipment that's in this dungeon, which we will use for probably all of five to ten minutes, because uh, we're just rushing through this. But it will help out quite a bit. I want to go this way. There's another Petra, but we really don't care about him. We can just pass him, really. Oh, okay, maybe not.
Alright, fair enough. I used both my potions in this area the last time, so... That should tell- that should let you know how great of a time we're gonna have here, but... It's just when they do that, that's when... That's when it, it, it look, makes it look harder than it really is. And, and... Oh. I was already as farther over as I needed to be. And we got the map. As you can see, it looks like a skull. But yeah, the Petras really aren't that bad. It's just... Because, yeah, you know, those those little Petras will die in two hits with their magic sword. But, you know, sometimes... The game likes to be a dick. Okay, now here's one of those rooms where we have whiz robes and bubbles in the same room, and we actually have to kill all the whiz robes. Which isn't fun, because half the time we can't even attack them. Okay, that's actually not that bad, having that fairy there. And here we have our awesome piece of equipment, which we could have used much earlier in the game, the red ring. Remember the blue ring we got way back at the beginning of the game before we went even went to level 1? This is basically another defense boost that doubles our defense once again. And, but again, you know, I would have rather had that early, you know, sooner rather than later. It just sucks that you have to wait till the um you know, the end of uh the, like, the ending dungeon in order to get it. But it makes the Petras a little more trivial to deal with. Like so. And more bombs. We're going to need these bombs. Old man says go to the next room. Where's the next room, you may ask? Look over here. That's where it is. More whiz robes. And we're done with this section. Now we just have to head this way. up, and here's some Zoles. We can take care of them fairly easily. I'm just wishing they would drop more hearts and fairies than they are. We still have the one potion, right? Yeah. And we're all right, then. More wizard. Oh, these are not. These are just, uh, keys. We can deal with keys as well. In fact... That's what I say to those. This is just a Petra in here, so it's not too bad. Also, these little pet, the, when his little guys don't actually fly outwards and inwards. They just kind of go in uh, circular motion like this. And we take care of the Petra there. I'm not going to pick up that key. I don't need to. I do like the music in this dungeon, though. Let's take care of these whiz robes before we have to do it later. Okay. And it's just down to the whiz red whiz robes. It's fine. Just those blue ones. They move around, and they can do more damage to you when they run into you. Oh, it's up. I'm an idiot. Oh, boy. I'm equipping uh, the potion for this. That's why.
fact, right when this is done, save, st save state there. So that way, if something goes, if something does go awry in from the rest of the in the rest of the castle, we can just go back to the last point where we refilled our health because we're really not that far from the end now. And here is the second dungeon item of this dungeon: the silver arrows. These are required to defeat Ganon. If you don't get them, you can't beat Ganon. At least I'm fairly sure you can't beat Ganon. I've never tried beating beating Ganon without them, but I'm fairly sure you need them. Then go up in this room of like likes. Actually, let's cordon ourselves off from them, because we can shoot sword beams through the walls. Or through the blocks, rather. They're kind of walls. Let me go over to the left. And the rest of these are just... Well, these are just zoles. We can kill them if we, really, if we want to, but... We don't really need to, so let's just rush up through locked doors, and take care of these whiz robes so that we can enter the way to the last area. We're pretty much in... Oh no, we got we still got a couple more rooms to go. Okay. We don't have to deal with these whiz robes at all, because we're not coming back this way. So, bomb in, kill whatever's in here. Okay, it's just like like some zoles. We're pretty much in the clear now. In fact, we don't really need to use the sword at all because these things are all vulnerable to magic wand fire. I mean, we could use the sword if we wanted to, but it really wasn't that big of a deal with this room because... Bubbles don't actually hurt you, and while they can take away the sword, we could still use the magic wand. It's just, it's a pain with whiz robes because you need the sword to kill them. Or bombs. Alright, kill this Petra here. And... We're... We're in the clear. That's Ganon. He's a piggy. Now our goal with the, against Ganon is to stab indiscriminately until we hit him four times. Wow, that's two, three. Awesome. Oh, actually we need to equip the silver arrows as well. And when he turns around like that, hit him with a silver arrow, and he is dead. And that's it. Collect the Triforce of Power. Move on up to the next room. And there's Zelda. Get rid of the little flames. Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. This is the second time I've seen this because I had to redo it. Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. This ends the story. Kinda. There's more games going on, but this was the first one. This was The Legend of Zelda. This was the first step in my original plan to do all of the Zelda games. And I'm still going to go on with that plan. I just have to deal with Zelda 2 next, and that's going to be far, far, far worse. Another quest will start here. But we're not going to do that other quest. Because that would be silly. We already did this game. 
I'm done with it, and I just, you know, I'll save the state there anyway, but I'm, I am done with this game. <laughs> so, uh, this has been Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, and I've been Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?